do okay, this. Okay, hold on. I just started. Okay, we're started. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to trim liver dog ears today is to the best of my ability. Anyways, we're using straight shears and we're using thinning shears, okay? I also have a slicker brush and I'm gonna get out of comb. So as you can see, Ty's ears are pretty bad. They're really, they're really fluffy. They're really long. His ear leather is like way up here and his hair is way below that. It's very uneven. It's got a lot of fluff under here. So what I'm gonna try, attempt to show you is how to take some of this down, and make him a little more presentable. So first thing I'm gonna do is make him stand up. Oh, yeah, oh, good boy. All right, this is not his favorite part of grooming, but I'm just gonna slicker him down here. Okay, take a look at the way his ear looks right now. And I, I kind of go back and forth. So, you know, you, you do it as, as best, the best way for you. That's what I tell other people. So what I'm gonna do is, yeah, you can sit down, is I'm gonna look at his ear this way and I'm gonna take my straight shears. All right, I gotta put my table up just a little bit more cause he's sitting. All right, and Pull him out, and I'm gonna bring his ear up like this, and I'm gonna look and see where the ear leather is, and just be careful because you don't want to clip the dog. First, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take all of this off under here. I'm gonna just trim this right off because you're not gonna see it. Okay, so I'm just taking all this off right here. Now I'm gonna go up with his ear leather and cut as straight as I can and take a whole bunch of this excess. And you see I'm pushing the I'm pushing it out from this side. So I'm kind of holding with my thumb in here. And I'm pushing it out. And you know, for a pet dog, you you really can't make a lot of mistakes. I mean, the worst case scenario you go back and you just trim it a little bit afterwards. So this is how much hair we've taken off already, okay? Quite a bit, because his ears are pretty fuzzy. So, like I said to you before, cut, comb, cut, look, comb. So, I cut, I'm looking, I'm combing. Now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna take some more off. And I am taking quite a bit off. And I'm feeling, as I'm cutting, to see where the end of his ear leather is. And actually, his ear leather ends right where the tip of my thumb is, so I can still take quite a bit off of this. So. And a lot of people do this completely with thinning shears, and you wanna just try and follow the, the pattern of the ear and most groomers don't take too much off on this side, but we're gonna tie stop. But we're gonna we're gonna try and trim some of this side off also, along with this side. So it it looks pretty raggedy and pretty uneven right now, but it it will straighten up as we go. And like I said, I got my fingers back out here, so I'm back taking off what I've missed. And I'm just kind of going around the ear. And unfortunately, my scissors are not as sharp as I'd like them to be right now. So I'm gonna have to go back and correct that with my thinning shears. So that's how much I've taken off already. Stop, put your head down, thank you. So all the nice people can see. And as you can see, it looks like he's got quite a turn up over here but that's because his hair is so thick. So now I can kind of look at it from this side. And like I said, liver ears are hard because liver hair is just a little bit different. So I'm gonna go back on the outside of the ear and just take a little bit off here. And again, 
I'm just removing the stuff back here so that you don't see, you won't, you, like I said, you won't, you're not going to see it, you know, and I'm just bringing a nice straight line up and just catching all the stuff I missed. All right. So it's starting to look better already. Okay. Now to get the ear smooth. Yes, I know you're a good boy. All right. Turn your head. Good boy. So I got my slicker brush and you can, you can either do it with a slicker or a comb. And basically that's all I'm doing. I'm just fluffing the hair up the wrong way. And I'm going to take my thinning shears. Okay. And I'm just going to go up underneath, clip, pull it out, clip, pull it out, clip, pull it out, clip, pull it out, clip, pull it out. Now, I've taken off that much hair is what it looks like with the thinning shears. But if I go back in, look at how much hair I've really taken off. Okay. And you see how much flatter it's starting to look already. It's starting to flatten out. So uh, that still needs quite a bit. So good boy. You stay. I know. Good boy. Turn your head. Good boy. So I'm going to go back and I'm fluff it up again and take my thinning shears and I clip, 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 and comb. Clip, comb, look. Every time. Clip, comb, look. All right. So now you can see how, see how much nicer that's starting to look and how much smoother it's starting to look. Okay. Now I'm going to go back with my straights, trim again, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And on here, I've actually got to do it from the outside so that I can get the correct contour of the ear, okay? Now, this stuff down here has always been a problem with him. And I'll be honest with you, I still have trouble with it, trying to get it just right. So I'm going to see what I can do and hopefully I'm not going to screw it up on you. So Okay. We're going to take it down again and comb it out and see how much we've got. Now, if you look at it, you still got you still got it's pretty smooth, but you still got some fuzzies. So at this point, I can go back with my thinning shears, okay? And I can kind of go all the way up the ear. See how I'm turning it, turning it, turning it. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. See, I catch him every once in a while too. Gotta be careful, because you're. I'm, I'm right there on the leather of his ear. Turning it, turning it. He's like, mom, don't cut my ear. So, and head down, good boy. And it's getting, slowly but surely, it gets straighter. Taking this little bit off over here. I mean, he's not going in the show ring, so I'm not really concerned that it's perfect. You know, I just want it to be as nice as I can possibly get it. And you can shape it a, you can, a little bit better around, around the edge and just, Use your thumb and your fingers to slide that fur so it's nice and straight so you can clip it. See what I'm doing? And like I said, so now if you look, head straight, good boy. You got a lot, a lot nicer and a lot straighter. Now he's still got quite a bit up here that I want to take off. So I'm going to come back up here and take some of this edge off too. And I want to be very careful that I don't cut the dog. And once again, clip, comb, look. All right, so now with what I probably would do is I've got, I've got a bottle of ProGro here and what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to spray him down a little bit and comb this down. 
so that I can actually see what I really missed. And I'm just gonna kind of let it dry for a minute. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do the same thing all over again. I'm gonna clip, cut, comb, and look. So, and then there's this up here. I can take that off with a thinning shear on the inside a little bit. And you don't, don't cut a whole heck of a lot of fur or when their fur is wet because it's gonna come out uneven. But that will give you a pretty good idea of how his ear is gonna look when it's all done because I've wet it down and now I can get it nice and smooth. And you can see that I've got, see how I've got all this extra here? I'm gonna go back with my thinning shears once again. And yes, it's wet. And I said, don't cut it when it's wet, but I'm gonna take just these flyaways on the end off to even it up. And that's what it should do because now I can see how long it actually is. And it's not completely done. I still have some more work to do, but there you go. There's a, there's a pretty well clipped Brittany ear and it's nice and smooth now and not completely even because I still got to go back and mess with that edge, but that should give you a pretty good idea. You did a good job, Pi. Thanks. Thank you.